I'm leaving today so it's obviously raining because I'm bringing all the sunshine all the way to Let's go! Hey guys! So for today's video I decided to do a little experiment and vlog for you in English I'm going somewhere warm, I'm leaving Berlin It's raining heavily, it's been so beautiful for the last two weeks now it's raining and I'm away and I think I'm the luckiest girl ever. Let's go! You can talk. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just really cool. There are like cliffs and, and big waves. Okay, you guys, it's so windy, you probably can't hear me at all, but I arrived and I have the most beautiful view in front of me. Check this out. Ta-da! Are we in LA? Is it Santa Monica? Said a girl who's never been to the US, but it's fine. I guess someone's home! If you've watched my vlogs from Spain, then you know that me and Julia were obsessed with this one. And now it's back to the memories. Dinner! Two types of hummus, some veg for the lady, and some rice crackers plus wine. And look at that! It's obviously kind of windy, so you probably can't hear me, but let's test it. We're walking on a pier. We've, we've done quite a bit of a circle, I would say. I think yeah. your house is like there. Yes, because yeah. like it's a, it's, a, it's a peninsula. It's a peninsula, so we were out on one side first, and now it's like the other side and the other beach that's not that cool. Yeah, it's but. quite overcast, but it's still really, really warm. I think it was like 22 degrees. There's a lot of tourists, but still mostly locals. People are enjoying the beach. Although there's no sun. Actually, I'm so not used to vlogging in English. It feels so strange. I feel I'm a lot more talkative in Polish. I'll work on that. Anyway, we're walking towards the old town, so I'll show you around once we get there. Just taking a picture for some ladies. And this building is apparently where Christopher Columbus stayed on his way to quote unquote India. So we arrived at the Old Town and the highlight of the moment is the fact that they have a vegan restaurant with the most amazing menu, completely overpriced, but it's fine. You can, you can have a nice meal out at least once during your trip, which is just a thing as per usual. But it's so beautiful and colorful here. Hopefully you can hear me, but we're gonna walk around, hopefully have a closer look at the cathedral, which was renovated in the last century, am I correct? Yes, I think so. Yeah, 19 something they finished it. And apparently, it, so. a typical thing about the local architecture is that they, the ornament, like the material that they use for the ornaments of all of the um, windows or balconies is wood, which is very surprising. Like, I would have never thought they would have wooden, like, emblema. Em, em, emblema? Is it a word? Mm, like, like right, embellishment? I, I just completely, like, I think it's embellishment. Friended it from Polish. Yeah. <laughs> em, okay, yeah. Let's go. Okay guys, I just learned a super fun fact which is why the Canary Islands are called the Canary Islands and it comes from the word Canaria, I think Canaria is something from Latin which means a dog and if you see behind me there's dogs and there's different theories of why this place is actually called the Dog Islands but one of them is that there used to be those big 
seals on the coast that people would think were dogs for some reason. <laughs> yeah, like there were, I, I don't really know. You know when they make, the sound that they make is kind yeah. of like a bark as well. Maybe. It's not a seal, like I need to look up how do you, how they're called in English. In Polish we say orka, orki. But are they like sea dogs maybe? maybe I guess they're sea dogs. Could, um, that would make, that would make Yeah, sense. but I don't know if like they're called like that in English, but basically, yeah, so. Anyway, the islands of the dogs, who would have thought? I, I thought it would be nice to have you in the clip, but oh yeah, casu casually walking. <laughs> oh, you're here too? Oh, wow, I wouldn't have thought oh my God, you would be in the so old town. It is a bit pricey, but it's all vegan and it's much appreciated. I feel like the lighting has been really weird today because the sun is not out but it's really really bright and I'm in a constant shadow but um, I think it's amazing there's someone just walked past her obviously I got socially awkward but what I wanted to say is that it's amazing that in a place like Las Palmas de Gran Canaria there's a vegan restaurant there's a few vegan restaurants in the middle of the old town and they're full of people it's lunchtime and like couldn't see it when I was filming but there's a lot of people inside so the vegan culture has come all the way to the middle of the Atlantic which is amazing and we ordered some nice croquetas to share and some nice mains I'm gonna show you everything so that's our first course to share which are some nice croquetas which are basically I think it's rice balls that are deep fried but they have like a plant-based mozzarella filling and a nice creamy sauce not really sure what's in there but I think that's it looks lovely they say what it was made with the stuffing i think it, they did but look at that they have an actual plant-based mozzarella inside of that and it's kind of like cheesy gooey yeah. well done and i love all sort of like garlicky mayo-y sauces so good okay so our mains have arrived and they look very very promising so cat got some butternut squash ravioli with a sauce i don't remember it's like almonds Almonds, yeah. And something else. And I have a beetroot gnocchi with a lavender slash nuts slash lemon zest sauce, which sounds very, very, very interesting. And we're super excited. But let's get down to eating. Okay, guys, so we decided to indulge and we went for dessert. We have a beautiful carrot cake for my friend, a tiramisu in a glass for me, and some rice milk coffee cafe con leche looks amazing the sun is shining and we're super happy yeah you're gonna do a taste test for us first what cake is it once again um, like carrot and almond like almendra in my head. considering the fact that she's allergic to almonds it might be the last clip we ever film <laughs> yeah. okay okay mm, looks like approval it's pretty good it's, it's not raw, it's baked. Yeah, it's baked. Okay, it looks quite like spongy. Moist. 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 Ugh, that's the word that everyone hates. Moist. Okay, good. Out of five, how many stars? 3.5. I knew you would say that. I literally just said it. I just thought in my head, like, you're gonna say three and a half. You're gonna say three and a half. <laughs> good. Okay, taste test. Drop soup. You have to go like all the way to the very bottom. Ooh, that's surprising texture. Describe the process. It's very liquidy. Mm. Wow. Okay. How is it? Any emotions? Sensations? Sweet coffee. It has like a date caramel layer. So oh. cool. like it's kind of healthy dish. But Yummy. Very nice. But this is a homemade sponge cake base. So, four out of eight. I think it's a very nice way they adapted the space. You don't see a lot of things that are modernized here. So that's cool. And I think it was very, also very risky to make something like that because I like it. That's beautiful. I love the tiles, the cream tiles, very pretty. But look at the, look at the pastels. Yes. It's just gorgeous mm -hmm. how it corresponds with like this is a nice blue. the sky. Yeah. Oh 
he looks so cute actually. Ah, guess where I dragged us? On swings, we're in like the most beautiful little city park. And me, as your four year old, as always, have found some time to go on a swing because that was what you do. We actually walked like 15 kilometers today already. And now, what I, I feel like when I sat down on it, my legs are they're thanking me for this moment of not touching the earth. So good, so good. Wait, guys, that's our apartment. That's where my friend's been staying this whole time. And yeah, see that little balcony over there? Oh yeah, that's our that's our chilling area. <laughs> that's our lounge. No, it's pretty. It's Hotel Santa Catarina, if I got it correctly. But it's beautiful, it's like baby pink and you can't see anything because the sun is really, really intense, but... I just want to say that I can't see anything because the sun is so intense, but I am the happiest girl ever. I have the sunshine, I have my friends, I have the beautiful mountains and the sea. And we're gonna sing and play the uke. Life's good. <laughs> it's, it's better when you take when you it out of the, the thingy. When you, when you play it. But... <gasps> I love it so much! It's Sunday morning and we just arrived to Mas Palomas, which is a city located at the very south of the island. And it's exactly what you want the Canary Islands to be, as my friend just mentioned, because it's so warm. It looks a bit, a bit, a bit cheesy, I would say, and a bit artificial, a bit fake, but the weather is absolutely amazing. We're just gonna have a day at the beach because yesterday we did like 24 kilometers around Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. I'll show you on my phone, it's unbelievable. But we have our food, we're gonna have a picnic, and I'll show you around. It's just, it's paradise. Guys, my life is fulfilled. We just changed into our swimsuits and we're laying at the beach. Um, the last time I felt like this was in Cadiz in October. So whoever watched my Andalusia trip vlog, let me know in the comments. That was good times and I'm super pale. And I'm wearing like a one piece for the first time in ages, but I felt like I was gonna be cold, but it's like 30 degrees. So I'm clearly not gonna be cold, but it's fine. went up to the dunes, so we're in the little Canary Sahara. My hair has gone absolutely wild, but it's fine. So, but no, it actually looks ridiculous. But yeah, it's like two o'clock, I guess, and it's quite a challenge because after yesterday's walking, I didn't show you the mileage, <laughs> kilometerage. Um, but my my cup hurts a lot and it's never happened to me so I'm thinking am I going am I, am I getting old? That's so pretty. Oh that's really on like it's a good timing. Welcome to Coachella. Well this is what we call an amazing lunch in nature. Instead of going to a restaurant, we have our little hummus. That's my favorite. If you watch my Madrid vlogs, you remember that one. I was eating it towards the end of my exchange and it's with olives and some rice cakes. Plus, we also have some fresh oranges from the Canaries and the best view ever. We're in a place called Cafe Regina to get a coffee. They have soy milk. And we were really craving something sweet but there's no vegan have. They don't have any vegan options whatsoever. But it's okay, right? It's okay. And I feel like I got a little like a tiny bit of a tan. Because my face it feels it feels a bit like another shade dry and like tingly. But yeah, we're gonna go and spend our sunset. Yeah, you're completely right. I read. We're gonna go look at the sunset somewhere um, out by the sea, so I'm gonna freeze to death, but it's okay because I'm gonna have so many beautiful pictures. But yeah, check it out on my Instagram. Self promo moment. Guys, I need to document the remainings of our ice cream. We wanted to go for another coffee trying to fulfill our sweet craving and we found a huge ice cream place that had two vegan flavors 
made with soy milk. Three, sorry, but one of them was a sorbet, so it doesn't count. But that was chocolate and vanilla. Quite good, nothing special, but still, I'm super happy because my sweet tooth is very happy. Anyway, that's the view. Oh, and I just, shit. And this is my broken lens cover. Guys, it's 6 a.m. and I look like an absolute nightmare. Yesterday I forgot to vlog because I had the most amazing evening watching the sunset with um, Ellie, obviously my friend, and Ellie, my new friend from America for some reason we're watching. And it's amazing. We had the best conversation. Um, I'll check back on if I'm fine. Just for anyone interested, that's what we did yesterday, as I said. No, on Saturday. And then we thought that we did not do anything yesterday. There you have it, 19.4. That's impressive, I know. Today so far. 